Good morning. This right here is a miracle. It happens every day, so we'd consider it natural. But it is an amazing, wonderful, miraculous thing that a tiny seed inside of this pine cone can fall to the ground and fall out of this pine cone and grow in over time into a massive pine tree uh, like this. The Bible talks about something similar in Matthew chapter 13 verses 31 and 32 uh, where it says that a mustard seed is very small but if you cast it uh, into your garden and it grows, it can grow tall even into a tree that the birds can build nest in. Well, this just highlights the fact of something that happens all around us every day, and that is that God starts with very small, insignificant uh, things that often escape our notice, and he can do amazing things through that. That little miracle can grow until it's unrecognizable and far-reaching uh, in its power and its influence. Well, God says that that's what the kingdom of God is like. You know, the, the gospel, the good news about Jesus, just seems like a, a small thing, a story, but it has the power to overturn kingdoms and to change lives. And in your life and in my life, You'd be amazed and you will be amazed at how little things, a small, tiny obedience in some little area of your life that you just do something for Jesus or maybe a, a little worry that's been bothering you and you turn it over to the Lord in prayer or a little need that you trust God with and, and work to do his will with. God can take that little thing just like this uh, little seed in a pine cone and grow and reach and put down roots and move powerfully in your life and in your character. In fact, that's what the Christian journey is all about. We start off with little baby steps, following Jesus, doing little things, and in time it grows until our whole character, our whole way of thinking our, our very lives are different, and eternity is forever changed because of that one first small seed planted in your heart that grew in faith. Will you plant that small beginning with the Lord today? Will you give him the little things? You will be amazed at what he can do. Let's pray together. Lord, I pray that uh, we would learn a lesson from this little pine cone this morning and think of all the little things in our lives that if we turn over to you, you might do something wonderful with that little obedience. Lord, I, I want to serve you in the little things. I want to see you in the little things that will become big things. In Christ we pray, amen.